And we're here today with Pete Holman, the inventor and creator of the TRX Rip Trainer. So Pete, tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your background in the fitness industry? Well, I'm a physical therapist and a certified strength and conditioning specialist. Um, but I really got into the industry through martial arts. Many years ago, I was on the U.S. National Taekwondo team. Oh, really? Just got infatuated with health and fitness, strength and conditioning, and of course, rehabilitation, because I was always injured. Okay. And so as a physical therapist, what type of clients did you work with? I, across the board, I had high-level athletes and then um, people that had degenerative joint disease and just needed to get moving again. Okay. And then as a performance coach, who were you working with when you came up with the idea for the RIP Trainer? I was working with an X Games athlete in, in um, Aspen, uh, but th this guy came to me and said, hey, I want to improve my core performance, and my back's always hurting, can't imagine why. Um, and so I, I said, man, how could I replicate the forces that he would see on a snowmobile? And I literally went home, and in my closet rod, or in my closet, I saw the closet rod, took it out, put an eye bolt in the end, attached a, a, an elastic bungee cord to it, and that was the first iteration of the TRX Rip Trainer. So the first version of the Rip Trainer was basically a dowel rod with like you some elastic tubing on a the stick end. Stick and a cord. Great, man. <laughs> so let's play around this a little bit. We're doing some stuff here. So, and so how, how, how do we use it? How do well, we use it? Well, what's cool about this, it's all about controlling rotational forces. So controlling rotation and producing rotation. The first thing you want to do is if you extend your arms out, okay. you want to control okay, rotation. Wow. So you're going to feel cool. that load in the transverse yeah, it's plane. Definitely trying to, it's definitely trying to pull me towards you. And you feel I have to engage your core muscles? Yeah. yeah. And that's if, I what, if I don't sink in, I'm definitely going to be fighting it. If I come up here a little bit higher, that's definitely much more challenging. It's very important to control these torsional loads. It's something that Dr. Stuart McGill calls torsional buttressing. And if you can't control the loads, that load goes through where? It goes all the way through the spine. Through your through spine. Lumbar. And that's where you've got some vulnerability. And so, so the whole idea is that we're using all four layers of abdominal fascia here and getting it engaged to create more stability, which helps us generate more power, right? Absolutely. And to be honest, not even just the abdominal fascia, your lats are engaged, right? Yeah. You oh, feel yeah, your serratus feel anterior, the rhomboids, yeah. all the scapular stabilizers, all that stuff is part yeah. of your core. How about your glutes and no, your definitely muscles? definitely my glutes, my thighs, right? everything is engaged. So you're basically you're locking right everything now. up. Now, if we want to make this a little more challenging, give me a little perturbation. Okay. So it's so just, just a like chest press. just like a little press. chest press. Cool. Yep. Now, I like the vertigo, and that's another uh, exercise that Dr. McGill identifies a great core exercise. You know, I haven't, done a, I haven't done a bench press in I don't know how long, but I love doing the standing cable presses. And this feels Absolutely. cool, especially the unilateral load. you got the unilateral, so you're constantly re resisting rotation. Now, what I like to do is eventually at some point, once your clients are comfortable and they've got good posture alignment, you want to introduce some pr production of rotation. Okay. So, if you put your left foot back. Left foot back, okay. Bring that bar to your chest. Okay. And allow both feet to pivot just towards the anchor a little okay. bit. Okay, so. And as you extend your arms out, you're going to give me a so pivot. So, both feet pivot? Perfect. Okay. So, now you've got. I like this. Yeah, unload this the heels cool. of the feet. You've got some athleticism there and agility. And we're yeah. getting that push. I'm that definitely extension. loading into that left hip. I can definitely push and explode off that leg. Beautiful work. So it's not work. just coming through my shoulders. And stop at the end range once. So okay. out, stop. Cool. You feel a little bit of a balance challenge? Yeah, this is tough. Try one more. Quick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and so you get that little wobble, yeah. and that's a great way, again, to, to activate the core muscles. Well, if you're not wobbling, you're not firing. I mean, it's that, it's that people don't realize that balance training is really about movement and controlling movement. Well, and there's always a fine balance. You want some level of instability to challenge your proprioceptive system, but if there's too much instability, you can't produce any force. Cool. So I, I think TRX does a pretty good job of challenging your stability, but still allowing you to produce some pretty good force. So this was like a push movement with rotation. What else can we do on this? So I love to work foundational movement patterns. We got the push. Let's take a look at the pull motion. Cool. All right. We are in Southern California, so we got to do a paddleboard row. Sweet. Okay. So give me a paddleboard hand position, right hand palm up, left okay. hand palm down. And what I like to do on this one is I like to move the hand a little bit closer to the center okay. of the bar. And that's going to give you, it's actually going to decrease your mechanical advantage. That makes it harder, okay. but it's going to give you a little more proper position. Okay, so where do you, where do you want my so, feet going? I like your feet in that staggered stance. Cool. What I want you to do is lunge down, Pete. Lunge down. And as you extend up, you're going to roll back. Okay, cool. And you just find a little bit of a rhythm there. Yeah. Where do you feel that one? That is definitely through that left leg, the left glute, and definitely through that posterior chain for my glute all the way up into my right shoulder. Now hold it at the back once. Good, yeah. hold right there. You feel that glute firing? Oh yeah. That's How about the hamstring? Definitely the hamstring. Good, and you engaged. got the core, yeah. and of course you got all those powerful pulling muscles in the lats, and the long head of the tricep, oh, yeah. the scapula retractors. Yeah, this is definitely good. Yeah, By the way, you want a challenge? Okay, let's go. Okay, so now from there, as the bar comes back towards the anchor, change your ah, feet. Okay, so here, and, and then, then back. resist. Yep. Here, and then back. Yes. Aha, now we layer tough. in some footwork. 
some athleticism, some agility, and watch that metabolic response, man. This is high intensity interval training at its finest. How much longer? Three, <laughs> two, one. Beautiful. That was smoking, man. That's cool. So what else so, we got? What else can we do with this? So we got a push, we got a pull. All right. Now, here's the sweet spot is the rotation. Tell okay. you what, let go of this. Let's face this way. Okay. Left hand palm down, right hand palm up. Imagine, okay, now grab it down here a little bit. Gotcha. Yeah. So you'll notice it's easier when you grab it close to the resistance yeah. cord. Okay. And it's a little bit harder as we get down here, reduce the mechanical advantage. Yeah. So what I want you to do, imagine you're taking a baseball swing, ah, right? Okay. Or shooting a lacrosse ball. So you're gonna pull on the left hand, push on the right, so and then give me that. And pushing at the same time, which when we look at rotation, that's all rotation is. It's half push, half pull. And it's if you half. get a big strong pull on that left arm, what, what's happening is the left shoulder's going into retraction, the right shoulder's going into protraction. I can feel my scapula just rotating right on my T-spine. And that's I'm how really the scapula are designed to function. Now, let's add a little bit of focal point okay. here. So boom, hit my it's hand every target. time, Pete. Hit the hand, hit the hand. There you go, now you've got a, a cognitive component. You're focusing on accuracy. And you can even be moving that target, huh? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so wait a minute. I love that. Okay, okay so my right hand's gonna either go middle, Okay. High gotcha. or low, gotcha. and you're gonna find it. All okay. Right, here we go. Yeah. Come on, man. Here we Get go. Get after it. Come on, bring it. Ha. Here we go. Ha. Here we go. Ha. Here we go. Ha. Last one. Hold. Hold. Ah, Good. Head and chest tall. Hold. Head and chest tall. That Bend those knees. Hard part. Mobility in the hips. Yeah. Three. I can feel it. Hold on. Wait. Oh, no. Hold there. Three. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Two. <laughs> one. Oh. Had a boy. <laughs> That is sweet. I'm loving that, man. Well, thanks for the time today, Pete. This you is a got great it. workout. Appreciate you and appreciate everything Ace does.